lots of legislature has been passed around local, state, and federal government to reduce the amount of firearms and ammunition that people are buying and try to limit who can buy what and what they can buy. And the latest is really something that's been introduced, referred to as HR 584, and is literally called the Stop Online Ammunition Sales Act of 2023. Ultimately, what this is designed to do is to only allow face-to-face -face purchase of ammunition, so no online sales at all anymore. But in addition to that, it also limits how much you can buy. And anybody that's buying over that limit is flagged and then reported to the FBI. It also limits how much ammo you can transport in your vehicle and forces records to be kept on who buys and how much they buy. And finally requires FFLs to report anybody uh, that they deem as suspicious as far as how much ammo they are buying. Now, this particular bill is very vague. There's no numbers in it, like how much ammo. It, it, it's very, very vague. It's in its beginning stages. Um, you know, and I really don't think this is going to go through. However, um, it just shows what it is uh, much of this country is actually trying to do when it limits uh, your Second Amendment. So it's important we take a look at things like H.R. 584 uh, to see, well, what are they trying to take from us and what are they, how are they trying to go about doing it? And this is one example of how they're going to go about doing it. You know, it's disguised as saying no more online sales, but what's written within is the limits of how much ammo you can have on you purchase, transport, etc. Definitely important to look at the fine print of these things. Uh, any thoughts or insight you might have on this bill, definitely put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns, and as always, love God, love your family, love guns.